Hey guys and welcome back to Planet Base. It is Krebsy here in the last and final episode of this series. I didn't want to end it just abruptly. I wanted to give you guys who are actually watching the series a closure of sorts to what was going on in New Hope. Uh, I mean, you know, I didn't plan for this series to be going on for so long. I mean, this is going to be the fifth episode, but also relatively speaking, it didn't garner a whole lot of views. There wasn't a whole lot of people watching it, but I still wanted to give you people who were actually watching it, well, some closure to what was going on in this uh, sprawling metropolis of New Hope. Well, I mean, in the last episode, it wasn't a spra sprawling metropolis, but now, as you guys can evidently see, oh, it has grown. It indeed has grown. So I want to give you guys a lowdown of what I've done since the last episode because admittedly I got kind of addicted to this game. Very addicted in fact. And I spent a lot of hours playing and not recording. Probably like 20 or so in total. And so this is what New Hope has turned out to be. It expands all the way from this corner over to the other side of the map in this area. Check it out. And admittedly some areas are more busy than others. I mean this is kind of like a quiet place desolate not much going on the place that you would probably get mugged because there's hardly any uh you know human presence or maybe the robots would for some reason gang up on you turn on their creators probably in this more desolate quiet area in new hope but let me give you guys an idea of exactly what i've done so in the last episode it ended around here in this location and it looked quite different but uh you know as m the metropolis of new hope has expanded i've had to uh, change around the connections to make the connections more efficient and just place down different buildings and this is what it looks like now all right and what i did was i expanded into this area firstly and this became a central hub of just work and as you can see there are plenty of factories uh, put down to processing plants and robotic facilities and even a large sick bay for all the irradiated people with nuclear radiation uh, infecting their systems these people being treated at the moment and it has expanded indeed i mean this area is now an a central place for uh visitors we receive a lot of people uh either visitors trade ships colonists whatever i have so much resources gathered up at this point and check out how many coins i have each coin is worth one, a value of one so something like this is 80 that would be 80 coins and I have 3,000 coins it's absolutely insane just how much I have now and it has been a difficult journey to get to this stage I've had colonies almost wiped out 140 population died down to almost 20 people to regrow again because my management was so poor and people starved to death it has happened but you know I learned my mistakes and here we go this area turned out to be a sort of like a suburbs kind of place of New Hope where people go to sleep. Uh, I have cabins and lots of cabins, tons of them in fact, like look around here. There are literally tons and tons of cabins in these areas. So people have their own beds, yes, we have gotten to that stage of luxury that people actually have their own beds, can you believe it? Yep, we've got to that stage. And this area is kind of like a farming area where we're producing a lot of food. Holy shit, that was really close. Producing a lot of food here. These giant biodomes. In fact, they're massive biodomes. Take a look at this. Hold up. I want to show you guys. I actually got blueprints by uh, buying them from trader ships. And I got these massive biodomes and massive storage facilities. And even what, you know what? I've even got massive turbines and solar panels. I mean, look at this. We had some, like large ones before. These are very large ones. Massive solar panels, very large turbines, and ever expanding going out here. So much uh, power collectors to keep me going throughout the night. I mean, my my energy is being used up very rapidly. Look at the grid. Look at the grid. Okay, never mind. We're still producing a lot of wind power right now because of the uh, we got a lot of wind going on, but. Look, check this out. Power storage capacity goes up to 220,000. So much water as well. The water is expanded out to this area. My population currently stands at 304 people. So, you know what? New Hope is like, it is really a sprawling metropolis of sorts. I mean, we got hamster wheels, you know, to keep the masses going. And it has been really successful. So, 
that is pretty much what you hope has turned out to be a very hard journey to get to this stage many many deaths many people have died but what i want to happen now is i want to burn it to the ground uh because that's going to be interesting to watch so what we're going to do to turn this on its head is uh well firstly actually everything i think there was a new update so it looks like nothing is of high priority because before everything was high priority not anymore so that's the first stage for uh everything going down to going down to hell so that no, nothing is high priority, so people are going to be drinking, you know, uh, and and using up vegetables to make alcoholic drinks rather than making meals and keeping themselves fed. That's the first step. Next step is to change the landing permissions and, you know, uh, screw engineers, because who needs uh, engineers to fix stuff? Screw the medics, because who cares? Screw the guards, because we want to get invaded by... Uh, space pirates uh, Let's get rid of that. We're just gonna have slave workers. All right, that's that's what we're gonna do We're just gonna have a hundred percent slave workers And you know what what's really interesting about this game is that if you set stuff like this It won't have an immediate impact. You won't really feel these effects until maybe like I don't know like 30 minutes down the line uh, When it really starts to change up the composition of your base So we're gonna go fast forward into the future so what I've done is I've actually tried to speed up the process of this colony falling apart and I've gotten rid of all the airlocks. So literally, oh whoa, we got intruders? Oh no, the intru even the intruders are stuck outside. They can't get inside because there's no airlocks. So literally everyone is just stuck on the inside of this base. And now what's probably going to happen, yeah, whoever was left outside is going to die of a lack of oxygen. But what's going to happen is, uh, what I find really interesting in this game is, depending on, like, your composition of people or just what happens, your demise will come about in certain ways, like a lack of oxygen, a lack of water, or a lack of parts causing a lack of repair of your structures. And probably what's going to happen now, because there's no airlocks, that means that the structures that produce energy are not going to be able to get repaired. And so... This is going to be a really bad thing in the long term where we're probably going to start running out of power. And that's going to have knock-on effects on top of it. So things are starting to slowly go downhill. I've even got incoming transmissions of people needing desperate help because of their journeys have somehow uh, led them to be in bad situations. And so I told them, yeah, come land on New Hope. You're going to be okay. And so these people are trapped outside. <laughs> Not able to get in anywhere because there's no airlocks and look at this their oxygen Slowly depleting a sandstorm upon them this person thirsty dehydration beginning to kick in and Their eventual oh Mass death. Oh, no Intruders have been killed. What wow. I love how they've been considered as intruders Huh? Maybe they actually were intruders. They were actually going to cause damage to my society. So it's actually a good idea that I, I got rid of those airlocks. You know, that was that was all planned. You know, who needs airlocks? Keep the bad people out. Keep the good stuff in and the bad stuff out. That was the idea, clearly. But a uh, quick update. My turbines are really poorly uh, conditioned now. They're almost at red state. And once they get to red state, well, they're not going to be working anymore. But on the inside, seems like everybody's okay. Uh, we got food supplies going on. People are still getting their work done. Check it out. I mean, are they getting work done? I think they're just basically producing food, and that's a, that's about it. Uh, okay, no, the workers and the engineers are still pro uh, processing stuff because I think we still have a lot of resources laying around. Like, yeah, we have tons of metal. We still have lots of ore. So people have jobs. Food supply is slowly going down. It was at about 350, it's about 270 now. So that started to take an impact, and it's kind of interesting. I'm not exactly sure why the food supply is going down and the power's still been up. Oh dear. The first turbines have gone down. Check it out. These ones are red. There are a whole lot more orange, and this is a big field of energy production over here. Once this goes down, there's going to be mass problems. Because the idea is to build up the power collectors get them full on energy by nighttime and uh oh more are going down 
And I think that's nighttime just about to set on in. It is. Nighttime is kicking on in. And the power collectors are not full. Let's take a look at how uh, fast these are going to be getting used up here. Whoops, that's not it. Uh, the grid. Here we go. Look at that. We're not producing enough. It's going down massively fast. About 3,000 at a time. 4,000 even. It's like 3,500. Uh-oh. You might hear people dying in the background. That's the intruders outside. Yeah, they're clearly not colonists or good people. They're intruders. Clearly. 13,000. Oh. Oh. It's Blackout City. It is Blackout City. No energy production. A lot of turbines are offline. Uh, we're not producing anything right now. We're literally producing nothing. Hold on. Let's slow this down a little bit. Let's slow this down a little bit. We're not producing any energy because the wind is gone. There's no sunlight. Uh, how much oxygen is there? Okay, 15% in certain areas. Depends how busy the areas are. If there's a lot of people in certain areas, then... Uh, then there's going to be less oxygen there. So there's 15%, 14% over here. What about this area? 14%. This is getting extremely low. Oh, this is getting low. 15% in this area. 16 even over here. Maybe it's because of the plants or something. I don't know. Maybe less people. Who knows? Colonists have died of asexation. No, th those are still ones outside. Uh-oh. Let's take a look at the people. They're thirsty. They can't drink. They can't drink because there's no power to uh to get the the, the fountains going. Oh no. Alright, but certain people are still okay. They're not they're not troubled at all. So it's daytime, just slowly approaching now. The wind speeds have caught up a little bit, but a lot of them are down. A lot of the wind turbines are down, and the solar panels are very, very badly damaged. It's soon gonna come to the stage where they're just not producing any energy. So let's let's speed this on up, I think. And uh, we'll get to see exactly what's going on. So, I mean, they're producing power now. Let's check out the grid again. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, people are really dying now. 58 have died. Hold up. Let's slow this down. Slow this down real quick. There are critical. There are areas that are critically low in oxygen. 5%. 8%. I'm seeing people dying all the time. 58 people just died in mass. I think it was people who were sleeping. In their bunks, in their homes, where you would least expect death, death has creeped up on them. In their beds whilst they were sleeping, death has creeped up on them. And people are dropping dead now next to their hamster wheels. Oh, and look, they're even going to bed low on oxygen, never to wake up again. Going to be dying in their sleep, perhaps. Maybe what I'm doing is giving, doing them a favor. Letting them die in their sleep, a peaceful death. And some of these are even going hungry to sleep. And so the knock-on effects of of uh, power shortages really sh starting to uh, show in the colony of New Hope. There's just not enough energy is being produced. Let's take a look at the grid. Zero power in the power collectors. Only about half or maybe two-thirds, half of the energy requirements are being met. So it is a rolling blackout right now. It's blackout city indeed. People are hungry because they cannot get food into the meal makers and get uh, meals produced from them. Whatever remnants are left in the in, in the in the meal makers, people are taking advantage of that. This Miguel Sandberg taking one of the few meals available. He's even eating it on the ground. I've never seen this before. This is literally the first time I've seen people do this. I can't believe they're actually eating on the ground, for God's sake. Why don't they eat at the table? There's, we have tables. You don't need energy. You don't need power supplies to sit on a damn table and eat. <laughs> okay. But the night slowly is creeping upon New Hope here. And uh, New Hope is starting to look a lot more like Lost Hope, if anything else. So, uh, with the power collectors having no power... With the energy uh, generators, pre yeah, almost all of them, yeah, they're pretty much all down. We're not producing energy at this point. Even with the large amount of wind, 
Uh, wind strike 60 meters per second. We're not producing anything. Dehydration kicking on in. No oxygen. People are hungry. People are thirsty. Let's just watch this area and see what happens. People clearly now going to have to uh, eat the bodies of their comrades or drink the blood out of... Oh my gosh, people are really dying of a fixation. It is really... It's just mostly in this area where they're like go gone to sleep. Look at this. See? People are dying underneath their beds. Their bodies. <sighs> wow. That, that's brave. People are actually hiding underneath their beds to die so that other people still can sleep on the bed on top. That is amazing. See, although these colonists, I'm really proud of these colonists that lost hope. Uh, <clears throat> new hope rather, so, lo yeah, new hope, lost hope. Uh, I'm proud of them, you know, they're thinking about the comrades. Oh shit, okay, everybody's dying now. <laughs> they're just dying in their paths. Can you still survive? Your oxygen, incredibly low, crawling to your death. Oh no. People are just really falling now. They're they're going into areas really lacking oxygen. Only 2% oxygen here. Quick, we need more people to die so whatever oxygen is remaining, they can still breathe. Oh, the death. The marked death is literally everywhere. Let's take a look at other areas of new of lost hope and just see what's going on. Oh, one of the sole survivors. Check it out. How did she survive? Will she make it to the next day? Shelly Norris, one of the few survivors of lost hope. Badly low on sleep, badly low on hydration. Oddly enough, has a lot of oxygen. Maybe it's because there's hot. Look, 10% oxygen, it's because all those people had to die in order for the very, very few to survive. Because now, the oxygen is barely being consumed. With all those people, they were breathing a lot of it, you know? Whereas now, you know, she's one of the few people to even just have to consume it. So one of the few survival survivors here, uh, Shelly, apparently there's still five other survivors. We need to find them, I think. But daytime is slowly approaching. Let's see how long she can survive. Oh, oh, hunger has struck down Shelly just as she was about to carry a meal and eat it. Oh no, oh no. And look at the robots, the Wallies. The Wallies are just roaming around, wondering where their masters or creators are. Here we go, we have another survivor. It's a guard, badly low on water and nutrition. Will he find either of these before he meets his end? Oh no. Oh, dehydration has struck at him. He had the oxygen. He could have maybe found a meal. At least Shelly dropped a meal, right? But unfortunately, that was it. He met his demise. Indeed. So who is left? These two souls. Okay, one soul now, one just perished. Wow, Ahmad Glenn, Ahmad, Ahmad Glenn, Mr. Glenn over here. He's actually not in too bad of a shape. I'll be quite honest with you guys, his shape is not bad. I mean, look at it, he's gotten sleep, he's got enough oxygen, his dehydration is middle. He just needs to find a meal real quick. And then maybe he will survive. Let's see, let's check out what he's going to be doing. Speed this up, he's literally the sole survivor in Lost Hope. Will he find a meal? He's going to get a meal right now. But where? Where from? Quick! Quick, Mr. Glenn! Quick, find a meal! Wherever it might be. Maybe you'll find a body under one of the beds. Here he goes. I wonder where he's actually going, though. Uh, where- where it actually has enough power that, uh... There's a meal. And look at this, no- no starships are even landing at starports or landing pads anymore simply because there is no desire whatsoever to land here a place of death actually our status apparently is good <laughs> the welfare is good yes the last man has died mr glenn is now dead all your colonies are not you have failed to build a viable colony the colony of lost hope now just a colony of robots and wallies that's it 
And so there you guys go, the closure, the end of this series to Planet Base. I hope you guys enjoyed this for what it was. Uh, and I hope you guys look forward to similar series in the future. So thank you very much for your viewership. Uh, until the next one, this is Krebsy. Thank you guys. Goodbye. Here we go.